Okay, so you have Techie here. <laughs> pistol, pistol, pistol. 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 <laughs> pistol. Deagle. Alright, they've also added crumb juice for some reason. And then if you wall. Ah! If you wall jump <clears throat> up here. You have Zapper, which is pretty much useless. Pistol, or Auto Pistol. Another Crumb Juice here. And a Healing Circle here. Mouse. Ah! My mouse keeps disconnected. Alright. So to me, that's the easiest way to do parkour. Kill all these wandering souls, and the reason why is because if you look up um, in the top right, you'll see your score. You need at least 150 to open up the gate inside the second room. And then just do circles. You don't have to jump. You can just do regular circles. Now, there's also an explosive barrel right here, but because he teleports and is not good to stay still, it's really hard to get him here. But, if you're talented enough to get them close enough to it, you can blow up the barrel and it does quite a bit of damage. Most people just stay inside this room. Shoot the big boss from here. Do not kill the small wandering ghosts if you're one of the people that stay back. Now, if you're one of the people that go forward, which should only be one person, which usually is called the bait. So if you're the bait, or the lead as some people call it, make sure that you get the shotgun here, kill all the wandering souls, and the big boss. Because you need 150 points to open up the AK slash SMG room. This part is important. Do not kill the big boss unless you are the bait. Damage it, but once it gets low, stop shooting. You need that 150 points to win. So if you take damage before the first boss is dead, you can come back to up this parkour area. And you can use this healing circle up here. Oh, apparently, no, you can't. What? Alright, I lied then. That's not a thing. What does this do? Whenever you use the explosive barrel, just make sure you're not standing too close to it because it will kill you. What you want to do is do this parkour, it's very easy. And if you have the shotgun, of course, you can do shotgun, you know, jumps to make it faster. But I would just do the regular one if you're not, you know, good with shotgun jumps, not comfortable with it, or not good at parkour. Alright, and then once you get up here, you want to go over on this side. You can also go on this side, but it's arguably much harder than the other side. However, if you need to heal, you can go up here on this side. Alright. So it's very important once you're over here, do not interact with the wizard, because that shuts the labyrinth. Alright, so inside the labyrinth, you want to go right, left, right, left, left. Well, if you count that as left. And here you can get the revolver, you can also heal. And then, once you go back out, you want to go right, skip this one, left, Just like that. Now be careful, if you go the wrong way inside of the lab, you end up triggering a jump scare, and once that jump scare triggers, it means that the door shut behind you, and now you are stuck inside of an infinite loop, and you cannot get out because it shut the door. The only way to get out of that is if someone interacts with the wizard from the outside, and that's what the interact wizard is for. So if you interact with the wizard early, it ends up closing the door early 
and then there's no way out after that. So in, or in order to ensure that you don't go the wrong way, I made a little map, <laughs> a very little terrible map of the raid. So this red line is where you come in at, and then you want to go, that's not my paint tool, paintbrush, you want to go up, take a right, go up here, take a left, up there, take a right, and then a left, and a left into the healing room. And then the revolver is here, healing circle here. Now if you wanted to go left and this way, the auto pistol is here. And then if you're good at parkour, you can go into this room and with the new update, they've added a perk machine, like the same one from Tortuga. It costs uh, 25 points to spin, and then you get a random power-up, but you could also get like the poisoned effect, so it's not always a good thing. Plus, you have to do a parkour to get over there. And then if you go this way, this X here is the room that triggers the jump scare and shuts this door here and then you get locked inside of that section and you can't get out unless somebody interacts with the wizard out there but there you go there's a full map and i'll post this image in my discord if you guys want to download the map all right and then this parkour you don't have to worry about killing these ghosts at all akimbo you'd see there then up here, use your 150 to open up this gate. You have your AK, SMG. And then if you want to, on these sections, you have sniper here. I'm gonna die. You have like mini bus and marksman rifle and the FAMAS. I don't think there's a weapon on that side, but we'll go check. No weapon. Alright, so uh, you see treasure ahead here. And if you jump down, uh, you die. There's nothing down there. It's, it's fake. Now, there is... Uh, you can also parkour on this side. Like I said, it's just arguably harder than the other side. But there is no strafe jump on this side. So if you suck at strafe jumping, uh, which if you don't know how to strafe jump, uh, apparently I don't either. You just have to strafe jump here where you hold forwards and sideways at the same time like that. And then you can skip that. You don't even, you can make this jump here. All right. So then once you get to this spot, it's like what they call the dropper. Um, what I do is just hold shift on this corner here and forward at the same time. So that way you land on this midsection here. Now there's a parkour you can do here. You just wall jump and you can get the RPG. I think they've switched it out with a different gun now. Because I think the newer one, I'm not sure what it has there instead. But that is a really easy parkour. Um, and then from here, uh, some people just jump straight down like in between. But if you want to get this gun, you have to hold here and then get the gun and then jump down. But basically, you can jump straight in the middle, or you can shift on the this far wall, and then jump right before you get to that post. Because if you hit any of these wood posts, they kill you. So if you want to get this gun here, just hold shift against this corner, and then spam G. <laughs> and then bada boom, bada bang. I don't think it's the charge rifle with the new update. This is just a practice map, but if you wanted to get that gun. I wish it was still the charge rifle. It would be nice to have that. Now, some people, they stay here, kill the center ghost. Uh, left and then right but what I like to do let me let the acid rise up you got to watch out for that too what I like to do is just go straight down here and if you're by yourself you can just hold shift here like on this corner here and if you're lucky and you get the angle just right none of the projectiles hit you and you get this first button for free um, however if you got other people I would focus on this left one while you're over here um, because like I said, if you hold shift down here and just shoot this left one, the left one's the only one that can hit you from that angle. So if you shoot the left one first, you can be safe from th this one and that one. And then I would focus on this one and then this one. 
Because that back one really can't hit you through this square most of the time. So after you get uh, this button, it will unlock the second button. And then that button will become green down there. Woohoo! Oh, I still have plenty of time. All right, so now there's two strategies to get this red button here. Um, what I like to do is look and count three blocks down. So one, two, three, and then aim for right there. And I missed. So if you miss the knife throw, the alternate you can do is build up some speed and do a strafe jump along the side of this wall while you're holding shift in order to slide on the wall. It's basically like a strafe and a wall slide at the same time and you can kind of slide on the wall most of the way there and then you do have to take some damage but if you're good at it and you get enough speed you can do it without taking damage or only getting hit one time instead of double tap like I did in this clip. If you happen to get stuck over here when the acid's coming up all you have to do is jump on top of the button and then jump on top of the knife throw target and then you'll be completely safe from the acid and then whenever you want to go back it's the same method just strafe and wall slide back to the ladder desert eagle desert eagle ray gun Oh, I shouldn't have went back for it. <laughs> okay, that was close. Alright. It's what? It's hard to see with my aimer. I think it's right here. Yeah, let's go. Wait, did I even get... Yeah, I did. Okay, I was like, wait a minute. Okay, deagle. Wait a minute, did it say pick up wood? Oh, pistol, okay. I was about to say. Oh, crap. Got a minute left. Bro, I'm poor for funny. <laughs> Another pistol, alright. So now I have all the boss room weapons. So now I can just focus on beating the raid. So once you do the fourth button, you unlock the Lord of Souls. He will then start attacking you, sending little demons, jack-o'-lanterns, ghosts, or not demons, <laughs> just ghosts, ghosts and jack-o'-lanterns. Um, and then after you beat him, see, like, those little things, which are fucking annoying. So the strategy for this is not to fall onto the acid like that. So the best strategy, I think, for this, or the one I like doing, is to come up to the top of this ladder. And then once you make it up here, all you got to do is focus on the small ghost. And if you hold shift, he shouldn't be able to hit you. So just all the way back against the wall and make sure you're holding shift. And then make sure you kill the small ghost first. Obviously you're not going to have a charge rifle because they took that out. I just got it because it's the easiest gun to get on the way here. And because it makes recording this a lot faster. So as soon as he spawns a lost soul, you want to take that out immediately. Just like I said, they can hit you. And then once you get him below half health, around right here, that's when he spawns the jacker lanterns. Same thing as the small ghost, you just want to focus on the jacker lanterns and small ghosts before anything else. The jacker lanterns, however, do not do damage until they get to you, whereas the Lost Souls, they can shoot a little projectile that does 10 damage, which is not a lot, but the fact that they can do that directly to you, it makes it a lot harder to dodge. So, that's how you get the drug kill. Jack-o'-lanterns for the kill jack-o'-lantern challenge in order to unlock the pet item. 
And then once you kill the Lord of Souls, you can go back there to the parkour in order to finish the raid. I'm gonna die. And then once you kill the final boss, this door will open, and so you can come up here. And this is just like a last parkour bin. Um, you don't have to do it, but it's just to technically complete the raid. So, like, your raid timer doesn't stop until you get to this parkour. So, once you get here is when your raid timer will end. So, if you want to know why to do the raids, you can get all kinds of raid items, like the ghosty pet. Uh, I think the ghostly die is outdated, but you can now get the devious die instead. The ghastly waste item, pump king. Uh, you can get the pumpkin pie by killing uh, the jack-o'-lanterns inside the final boss room. Ectoplasm. I think those are both from the first, so I'm not sure if you can still get it inside the remastered version. Get uh, the devious waste item. Again, necromancer, I'm not sure if they've added to the new one. Uh, this dumb spray, I think, is there. And there's a couple others, so those are the items that you can get from playing this raid. I don't know what the drop rates are, so if somebody knows the drop rates, you can put that into the comments. For anyone who made it through the entire video, thank you so much. I hope this helps you with uh, the soul raid, and happy raiding. Good luck on those drops, guys. Let me know if there's anything else you want me to make a guide on, or any other, like, crunker videos you want me to make in general.